morning, good morning, fam. Hey, the local trucker here, man. Appreciate y'all tapping in with me this morning. I'm at stop number four. As you can see, got the doors propped open. Gonna drop the ramp on that sidewalk, man. But today, man, I got a question for all food service drivers or any delivery driver, man, who has to deliver the way that I've had to live, deliver this morning, excuse me. Do you prefer key drops or live deliveries? Y'all saw earlier, man, I opened up the door to an establishment. That was a key drop. And stop number four is as well. The manager just arrived, but I had to walk down this sidewalk right here to the other side of that ramp to a lockbox. Put in the code, get the key, walk all the way back down here to unlock the door to the place I just showed y'all. Um, a little extra, yeah, but it's just all a part, part of the game, right? This this is that establishment, one of the two that I told you guys wanted their stuff before 6 a.m. due to corporate, so we're making it do what it do. But y'all let me know, man. We'll talk about some key benefits, pros and cons of key drops versus live deliveries later on in the day. y'all was probably watching me stack those two cooler stacks and wondering why the second one might not have been a big one or why not have been moving quite as fast as I should. I'm a tad bit ahead of the schedule, man. I've talked about this before in previous videos that performance matters, all right? All I have left is one more cooler stack and then I don't know if y'all get a good look. But all this dry, it's not much. My next stop, stop five's time window, according to their contract between them and US Foods, is from 7 to 9.30. It's only 6.31. And the stop's probably, you know, give or take traffic, 10 minutes up the road. So I don't want to be sitting here too too long after I've done the stop and I don't want to get to the stop too early. I apologize for that glare that we had out there. So I'm going to slow it down just a little bit, finish getting this off, maybe get these two pallets that's going to be empty stacked into the freezer. I don't know. It's cold in there right now. And then we're going to get on down the road to stop five. We only got eight today. 779 cases, but this is a day where I drive anywhere from 170 to 180 miles. So it's a lot of driving, but we're gonna get it done regardless. Been at it since 2.30. It was an hour, a little over an hour ride to the first stop. Not them first two out. Did the two key drops. So we rocking and rolling, man. So let me get this done and I'll check in with y'all at the next stop. All right, fam, we at stop number five. Y'all see the name of the establishment on the video. 
in my trailer, man, I got two stacks ready. And over here by the back door, third one. I'm delayed right now, cause the customer's not here. And honestly, I probably should have checked in the storage trailer this morning, man. I'm not sure if there is or isn't a key. I think it is a key for this location. So if I'm gonna get here at seven o'clock on Mondays, man, I need to go ahead and grab that key. So it'll be a third key drop for today on Monday route. But when you know, you know. And now I know, so we just sit here waiting for the customer to show up, guys. In the meantime, I'm tacking on that delay pay. It's been almost 30 minutes thus far. So we're gonna get through the stop once they get here, man, and we'll have three more left. Y'all stay tuned. done for the day man got about an hour 10 hour 15 minute ride back to the yard so we about to get on this road i just wanted to touch base with y'all real quick man because i didn't do any more recording i thought i showed you i was delayed at um stop five i was delayed an hour and 10 minutes so i ain't recording anymore let me working the route because i was ready to get it done all my food service guys, I know exactly what I mean by that. When you delayed and you was rolling, you ready to get it done after that delay. I should already be at the yard at this moment while I'm chopping up with y'all. But it's all good, man. So, got some water from the last stop. Gonna pour it in my cup in a minute. Nevertheless, though, we gonna get down this road. What up, fam? We back. I had to get some fuel in the personal car, the work car, the street beater, as I like to call it. Man, I typically only drive this car. I mean, we only have two cars, so. I drive this car Monday through Friday, back and forth to work. Once I park on Friday, she don't get touched again until Monday morning. Unless I'm taking to get washed or some maintenance or something like that, but. Anyway, man, yeah, like I said, we back on the road, man. About to go on interstate, head to the crib. It's a good day, man. It's a good start to the week. Aside from being delayed, which we get delayed pay for, it's a good start to the week. But, um, yeah, man, so that was a quick little glimpse of what my Monday and Thursdays kind of looked like with the two key drops in the morning. So I wonder, man, does how you guys feel about key drops versus live deliveries, man? Personally, I believe I would prefer a live drop more than a key drop. And I mean, they both have their pros and their cons, man, but let's start with the key drops, man. Wonder. The pro for a key drop is, for a lot of guys who like it, man, is that there's nobody's there. Um, no manager, no employees, no customers. So you really get to just pull in, drop your cone, set your ramp, set up your door being propped open, and make your delivery and be out, right? A lot of guys like that, and that's cool. I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty enjoyable for the most part, if I am being honest. But a con to that, in my opinion, is with that is 
do run a probability of a higher probability of getting customer complaints. And what I mean is, is I had a situation one time on an older route where, and the customer didn't complain, they just called in about it and asked for it to be done a different way. When you do a key drop, man, you don't really know how certain customers want certain things. And so, so there's sometimes where they may have a freezer inside of a walk-in setup like the establishments that I showed you guys this morning. And they may have some things that's in the way in the freezer. And so all the items might not fit, which would then trigger out into the walk-in, having all the walk-in items not fit. So then some items might have to sit outside the walk-in door or the freezer door. Or you may have it where the managing team or the manager and the closing team didn't do that well of a close. So they got trash and different things all in the way or blockading you from getting to the freezer or the cooler. And I'm the type of person, man, that I don't I don't get paid to do that job, right? Like that establishment doesn't pay me. And it's really on the GM or the district manager or whoever who is above the nighttime closing manager to ensure that that person is doing their job properly. So I had a situation where I wasn't able to fit all the items in the freezer or in the cooler, but it was because of things being in the freezer that weren't supposed to be in there that I just wasn't going to move. So, you know, they called customer service who reached out to my manager. I sent him the pictures. He understood what I meant. He resent those pictures back to their GM and he handled it, you know, so I didn't have that problem ever again. So that's a that's a con to a key drop manager. That sometimes things won't fit and there's nobody putting anything up or they didn't do a good job of making sure that the store was ready to receive the truck. Then some things are just going to be out of place. Another pro to the key drop, though, is wide open parking. Being that there's no customers, no employees, man, it's pretty easy to get in and out of these places because there's nobody there. Which, again, that makes sense for a lot of drivers, man, who are comfortable with that. But a uh, downside to that is it being a key drop and it being so early in the morning, man, it, your safety is at a higher risk in that wild open parking lot with nobody being there. So... You just got to be a little bit more high alert, be a little bit more attentive to your surroundings. It could possibly slow you down. You may hear something going on in the background or in the wood lines or down an alley, depending on where you at, man. And you, may, you may pause with concern. You may have to get your, your box cutter, your knife out, you know, because I mean, obviously you can't drive with no armed weapon, right? So you do what you can and, and stay vigilant and diligent, but... Your safety is at a higher risk when it's a key drop. So, but with some pros on a live drop, man, is one, manager being there. Manager has the ability to check off. And even with live drops, let me just say this, man. Even with live drops, you got managers who do not check off the stuff and they're not putting the truck up while you bring it in. They will just let you pile it in there. And that's really, that's their forte. That's on them. But with a live drop, man, the manager gets the opportunity to check off the items and put it up as he's bringing it in and also check the quality of the item, man. You may have some spoiled tomatoes, spoiled produce, might be a wrong item that you might not catch as being a misprint. The manager has the opportunity to send it back in that moment versus having to call customer service to get a pickup done. When it's a key drop, they don't get that option because they're not there. Um... But that's also a con to it being a live drop too. When it's a live drop, man, you may run into a manager, customer, who wants to take their sweet time checking off everything. And if a customer wants to check things off, you have to let them check it off. If they want to get, excuse me, sign your scanner, you have to let them sign your scanner. Like they have that right. So you have to let them do that if that's what they want to do. So it can also hinder you and hold you up as well. 
And so that's a pro. Excuse me, that's a con. Excuse me. Um, to doing a live drop. Another pro to doing a live drop, man, is some places feed you. Y'all already know I've shown y'all a couple, you know, a couple places, man, where you get fed, where I've been fed, um, because you built a good rapport with your customer. If you're doing a key drop, man, you don't get that opportunity. I wouldn't even advise you taking a cup of ice and no ice water. Because there ain't no telling what they can go back on the camera and say you may or may not have been doing. But when they're there, man, you get the luxury of asking, hey, man, you might have something to drink, or can I have, you know, some of those cookies, or a bowl of cheese grits, you know, whatever. Whatever it is, you know, you get into. Um, you don't get that luxury when it's, when it's a key drop. Um, but another con to it being a live drop, man, is that some customers who don't want it to be a key drop and we experienced that today. Um, not saying that the establishment that I was at isn't a key drop because we actually do have a key for it. I just never needed it on Monday, but I know now. Is that if it's a live delivery and they want it to be a live delivery, you're at the mercy of the manager having to show up on time. I have a stop on Tuesday that I purposely work out of sequence because if I get there before 8.30, 8.45, I'm going to be sitting there waiting. And they're like my fourth stop on the route, but I make it like stop five, sometimes stop six, depending on how I'm moving that morning. So you're at the mercy of the manager being responsible and doing their job of showing up to receive their truck and open up their store. Sometimes that ain't always the case, and there ain't nothing you can do about it unless you want to work out a sequence. And I'm the type of driver, man, that if I get to a spot, I ain't trying to leave it. I'm not trying to leave that spot and then come back to it, especially if I got a good parking situation. So I'll just sit there and eat the delay, collect the delay pay, and then plan accordingly next week. But anyway, man, that's those are my thoughts on key drops and live deliveries, man. You guys let me know how y'all like the rocker, man. Which one do you prefer? Which one works out better for you? And drop some dialogue down in the comment section. Hopefully, this content is giving y'all some value, especially to some of you guys who might be looking to get into food service. It's just something to think about, man. You may have a route that may have four or five key drops on them, and you may not want to do that. You may not want to feel quote unquote at risk work or getting up super early, even earlier than what we have to, to run some of these drops that early in the morning as key drops. Some of you guys may want to do it live. You may want to have that customer interaction, that rapport being built between you and the manager or even the crew members that's in there. You know, you may want to be able to get a drink or some food. You know, it's whatever your forte is. But anyway. We're going to get down this road, man. Go spend the rest of the evening with the kiddos. Send my wife off to work with a good kiss. And i catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all be easy. Stay safe. Stay blessed.